Well, hello, Broad Street family. I greet you in the name of Christ. I also come to you today to deal with the fact that we all know that COVID is on the rise in our community. Due to recent COVID outbreaks, both within the community and within our church, we are going to need to take some further precautions as we continue to worship with one another at Broad Street. In conversation with Dr. Jerry Devane, the chair of our COVID task force team, we are now introducing these measures as we continue to gather for worship at Broad Street. First, masks are not required. However, masks are recommended for you as you come to worship. It's one way you can protect yourself and help others feel comfortable in worship. If you choose not to wear a mask, please be aware of those seated around you and maintain a good social distance so that everyone can feel good and feel safe inside of our worship environment. Everyone should practice social distancing, whether it's in a hallway, a classroom, or in the worship center. This will allow for us to prevent the spread of COVID virus. If you have comorbidities, or if you are part of a vulnerable group, it may be time for you to consider worshiping with us online for the next two to three weeks. This will ensure your safety and make sure that you don't come into contact with something you don't want to. We love you and we believe that the online worship experience is a valuable and authentic way to worship God. We'll make sure to hold your seat for you though because we will look forward to that day when you can come back with us again. If you are sick, whether it's COVID or whether it's a sneezing and cough, it may be a season where you need to stay home. Worship with us online. And once you're feeling better, come on back. We'll save your seat as well. We want to make sure we do the very best for everybody inside of our community. Over the next 10 days, there will be no children or youth programs here at the church. So that includes this Sunday and next Wednesday. We've had a number of outbreaks inside of our children's department, and we need to make sure that we don't spread the virus to our youngest folks, and especially some of them who have not been vaccinated. So we will have no children or youth programming until January 21st. This is Sunday School, Children's Choir, Enlightened Choir, all of these various programs. We'll have to wait, but we'll look forward to getting back in the swing with all of those programs. Again, I, I just pray that God is with you. God's covering you in the midst of this journey. I know there's a lot going on. Pray for our church. Pray for your sisters and brothers, this family of faith that we call Broad Street. And together, with Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, we'll get through this to the better days that lie before us. God bless you, friends. We sure do love you. Can't wait to see you.